How would you like to increase your chances of success in navigating change, mastering transitions, and making your dreams come true by 42%? In today's video, I'm going to share with you a super practical, easy to use tool every single day to help you increase your chances of success by 42%. Hello and welcome back to the Making Hope Happen series, day 91. I am Lori Mage. Let's jump in. This is a super fast one today. Marie Forleo in her great book, Everything is Figure Outable, she says simply by writing down our goals every single day, we increase our chances of success by 42%. 42%, that's huge. If you and the person sitting next to you have the same goal, all you have to do is start writing it down every single day and you're going to increase your chances of success by 42%, which begs the question, what are your goals? What are you going after? When we think about goals, we wanna think about big picture, long-term goals, you know, six months, nine months, 12 months from now, five years from now, I like to go out 10 and 20 and 30 years at times. We wanna think about our big picture, long-term macro goals. And we also wanna think about our micro daily goals, the things that we're gonna to do today to help us increase our chances of success with our 30 day goals, our 60 day goals and our 30 year goals. And one of the tools we can use to do that is WHOOP. You can whoop long-term goals, thinking about five years from now, this is what I would love to see happen in my career, or five years from now, this is what I'd love to see happen in my most important relationships. I'd like to have a marriage. I'd like to have a house. I'd like to be traveling around the world. Whatever your three, five, 10 year goals are, you can use the whoop process to say, okay, there's my wish. Then you think about the O, what's the outcome? Who's gonna benefit from it? How am I gonna benefit from it? How will the world benefit from it? Then we bounce down to the obstacle. Okay, what's likely inside of me that's gonna keep me from accomplishing that three, five, and year goal? What's a really powerful question I like to use with coaching clients is, all right, Lori, you've got this five-year goal. We've clarified it. You see all the value, all the benefits, how you're gonna benefit how your family's gonna benefit, how the people you love, your customers, your clients, the world's gonna benefit from you accomplishing this wish. Let's fast forward five years and you didn't accomplish it. How did you keep yourself from accomplishing it? That is a powerful question to ask yourself. And then we wanna follow it up even with some Michael Bungay Steiner wisdom. And with whatever my first answer is, I wanna go further. I wanna say, and what else? And what else? And what else? And then we go back through all those obstacles and we say, all right, if this happens, then that. If that happens, then what? And we make our plan, our implementation plan. And research has shown that this is actually the best way to visualize our goals is not to just see yourself being successful. It's to actually identify obstacles and to see yourself overcoming those obstacles that are going to help you be successful. So for example, let's say you're trying to optimize your nutrition and you're going to a party this Friday night and you know there's going to be carrot cake there and that might be your favorite thing in the world is carrot cake and so that might be a potential obstacle for you. All right, go back through your wish. Wish, what do you want? I want to optimize my health and my fitness. Why? Tell yourself why. Go back through all that why power. So you got that activation energy and then come up with a plan. In that space of feeling of power, come up with a plan. When someone offers me a carrot cake, instead of saying yes, I will say no thank you. That's one option. And if you don't think that's going to work, then instead of eating the cake, I'm going to eat the grapes that I brought. So you have a plan to help you be successful. So we can use whoop on the big picture, the weekly goals, things like that, but we can also use it for today. We can think about what do I want to accomplish today? What's my wish for today? How am I going to benefit from that? Who's going to benefit from that? What's the likely obstacle that's going to get in the way of that? And what's my plan for overcoming that obstacle? You can even use it in the moment. When it comes to applying a whoop to our goals, we want to think about big picture goals. We want to think about today goals. And we want to think about moment goals, like right now in this moment. For example, if you're at a meeting, you're in a meeting right now. What's your wish? What's your outcome? What's your obstacle? What's your plan for this moment? Let's say your kids are fighting. What's your wish? What's the outcome? What's the obstacle? What's your plan right now? So if we want to increase our chances, of success with our goals by 42%. We want to write them down. 
And a great way to frame us writing it down is the WHOOP process. We can use WHOOP for big picture, we can use WHOOP for today, and we can use WHOOP for the moment. That is it for day 91 in the Making Hope Happen series. Again, I'm Lori Mage. If you got value today, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below with your favorite insight, your actions, and if you know someone who would benefit from this video and this series, please share it with them. I'm on a mission to help build a happier, healthier, more loving world. And in the right hands, I know these videos will make a difference. Thank you so much for watching, for sharing, for liking and subscribing. That helps to grow the channel and potentially change the world one person at a time. Much love. Have an awesome night and I'll see you tomorrow.